Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Chosen of Cold Steel. Last time, we finished up the third floor of the uh, old schoolhouse. And today, we're going to finish off um, this day uh, with um, a hidden quest and a few other things. So, let's go. Let's first talk to, let's talk to this guy, Hugo. He should give you uh, a, char a character note. Another one is in the uh, student union. In the photog uh, photography for club. I can't speak today. Don't mind me. <laughs> Every single shot to, oh, it's, oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, got their character notes, so... Last thing to do is go to the rooftop. And then we'll do the hidden quest and finish off today. Oh, and I shall do a couple of, uh... Where is she? There she is. Hello there. Cool. Okay, when the next day comes around, she'll give you something. So, let's look forward to that. There's gotta be a zero powder, just so you, just so you guys know. All right, next stop, the courtyard. He's looking for something. I can never pronounce his name. I usually pronounce it as Monk, even though it's pronounced with the, even it's with a U instead of a No. Yeah, might as well help him. Stickers? Really? They're all round and shiny. Okay. All right, three stickers. I believe they're marked on the map. So. Uh, they are not marked on the map. Oh shit. And there's one in here. The Northwest container. There it is. Oh, it's a Misty. Cool. And there's one at the old schoolhouse. One of the trees. How we ended up here? Who knows? Old schoolhouse road, road entrance. Oh, it's right there. The 
they're pretty easy to miss if you have poor eyesight, even if they are glowing. Uh, the last one's at the Academy Field. Northern Tree. There it is. And that should be it. Okay. Back to the courtyard we go. What do we get out of it? That's the question. We don't? Cool, blue pendulum. I believe that... Our blocks poison, blind, and burn. Cool. Glad of your headband. I'll need that more. There we go. And the only two things that we need to uh, do is... Gaius and Emma. To the library we go! Oh, I like this part. I believe uh, Sean actually did a qu quote of this um of this uh, certain um, event, which was kind of funny. Oh yeah, midterms. I forgot about that. If you get all, if, if you got everything right, all the questions right, and you, uh, I think I mentioned this before, and talked to all the uh, teachers and learned all the stuff. You get plus three AP. Whoa. Notice is a poor bugger. You ever heard of a lot of other girls? Really, she's really filled out and uh. Whoa, 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 Reen, come on, get your head back in it, right place, right in between, no, no! <laughs> that was the part, that was kind of hilarious. Ah. 
I honestly can see Emma and Rink together. Even though I kind of like Elisa more. People will kill me for that, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, next one is Gaius. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, Gaius. Yeah, he likes the wind. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Even guys point out how cheesy um, green speeches are. <laughs> are there a lot of people that um actually let's look at their links? Yeah, they're all at level three. Cool. Oops. Wrong one. Let's see, before I do that, I need to check something. Alright. Because the people who are going to be with us during the exam practical exam is going to be, uh... Wow. Elliot, Machias, and Gaius. Did you just get back to? Oh, Sarah. Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. Nah, we just did it off. We just did it off campus, so you wouldn't notice. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? Of course it did! As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. So full of bullshit. But I'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor, innocent heart. Yeah... I almost want to believe it, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night, then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. 
Oh, I can hardly wait. This class seven gig has some real fringe benefits. Oh, it does. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Why wouldn't she? Welcome back, Master Bean. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the Masterine stuff, though. No, she won't stop. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the maid's code of honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like, my dearest Reen? Oh, God. Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you, courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Spoilers, they have. Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. See what I mean? This feels like a good time to make my exit. Exit, stage left. Or in his case, stage right. Hmm? This looks like... Oh! From Rain's sister, Elise. Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer. <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? No, oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. Trust me, you're changing more than you know. right back to her and to mom and dad for that matter Misty here filling your speakers with wit and charm once again I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening let's kick off this week's oven time around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Uh, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? Mmm... No. Actually, it's not much to ask at all. 